Burnley FC Wikipedia article audio Burnley FC is a professional association football club based in Burnley, Lancashire, England. Founded in 1882, the club plays in the Premier League, the first tier of English football. Nicknamed the Clarets, due to the dominant color of their home shirts, they were one of the founding members of the Football League in 1888. Burnley have been champions of England twice, in 1920-21 and 1959-60, have won the FA Cup once, in 1914, and have won the Community Shield twice, in 1960 and 1973. The Clarets also reached the 1961 quarter-finals of the European Cup. They are one of only five teams to have won all top four professional divisions of English football, along with Wolverhampton Wanderers, Preston North End, Sheffield United and Portsmouth. History Early Days Burnley have played home games at Turf Moor since February 17, 1883. The club colours of claret and blue were adopted prior to the 1910-11 season in tribute to the dominant club of English football at the time, Aston Villa. Their current manager, Sean Dyche, was appointed on October 30, 2012. On May 18, 1882, Burnley Rovers Football Club decided to shift their allegiance from rugby union to football. Playing in various green or blue and white kits for their first few years, the club played their first competitive game in October 1882 against Astley Bridge in the Lancashire Challenge Cup, that game ending in an 8-0 defeat. In the early months of 1883, the club moved to Turfmoor and remained there, only their Lancashire rivals Preston North End having occupied the same ground continuously for longer. Burnley first appeared in the FA Cup in 1885-86 but were ignominiously beaten 11-0 when eligibility restrictions meant that their reserve side had to be fielded against Darwin Old Wanderers. On October 13, 1886, Turf Moor became the first ground to be visited by a member of the royal family. When it was decided to found the Football League for the 1888-89 season, Burnley were among the twelve founders of that competition. Burnley's William Tate became the first player to score a hat-trick in league football. Burnley won that game 4-3. Burnley, now known as the Turfites, Moorites, or Royalites finished ninth in the first season of the league but only one place from bottom in 1889-90 following a 17-game winless streak at the start of the season. That season did, however, present Burnley with their first honours, winning the Lancashire Cup with a 2-0 final victory over local rivals Blackburn Rovers. Claret's glory either side of World War I. Before Burnley won a trophy again, they were relegated to the second division in 1896-97. They responded to this by winning promotion the next season, losing only two of their 30 matches along the way before gaining promotion through a playoff series then known as Test Matches. Burnley and Stoke City both entered the last match to be played between the two teams, needing a draw for promotion. A 0-0 draw ensued, reportedly the match without a shot at goal, and the league immediately withdrew the test match system in favour of automatic promotion and relegation. Ironically, the league also decided to expand the top division after the Test Match Series of 1897-98 and the other two teams also went into the top division for the following year, negating the effect of Burnley and Stoke City's reputed collusion. Burnley were relegated again in 1899-1900 and found themselves at the centre of a controversy when their goalkeeper, 
Jack Hillman attempted to bribe their opponents in the last match of the season, resulting in his suspension for the whole of the following season. This is the earliest recorded case of match fixing in football. During the first decade of the 20th century, Burnley continued to play in the second division, even finishing in bottom place in one season, although the indications of success just around the corner were evident in 1911-12 when only a loss in the last game of the season denied the club promotion. Low points through World War II Burnley changed their colours from green to the claret and sky blue of Aston Villa, the most successful club in England at the time, for the 1910-11 season. The 1912-13 season saw them win promotion to the first division once more, as well as reaching the FA Cup semi-final, only to lose to Sunderland. The next season was one of consolidation in the top flight, but more importantly their first major honour, the FA Cup, was won, against Liverpool in the final. This was the last final to be played at Crystal Palace and King George V became the first reigning monarch to present the cup to the winning captain. The winning Burnley team also got special medals with English Cup winners written on it instead of the usual FA Cup winners inscription. World War I impacted the 1914-15 season, in which Burnley finished fourth in the first division, before English football reorganised itself and took a back seat to the needs of the conflict. Upon resumption of full-time football in 1919-20, Burnley finished second in the first division to West Bromwich Albion but this was not a peak merely presaging Burnley's first ever league championship in 1920-21. Burnley lost their opening three matches that season before going on a 30-match unbeaten run, a record for unbeaten games in a single season that lasted until Arsenal went unbeaten through the whole of the 2003-04 season. Burnley finished third the following season but thereafter followed a steady deterioration of their position, with only fifth place in 1926-27 offering respite from a series of near relegations which culminated in demotion in 1929-30. Burnley struggled in English football's second tier, narrowly avoiding a further relegation in 1931-32 by only two points. The years through to the outbreak of the Second World War were characterized by uninspiring league finishes broken only by an FA Cup semi-final appearance in 1934-35 and the arrival of Tommy Lawton. Burnley participated in the varying football leagues that continued throughout the war, but it wasn't until the 1946-47 season that league football proper was restored. Golden Days In the first season of post-war league football, Burnley gained promotion through second place in the second division. Additionally, there was a run to the FA Cup final, with Aston Villa, Coventry City, Luton Town, Middlesbrough and Liverpool being defeated before Charlton Athletic beat Burnley 1-0 after extra time in the final at Wembley. Burnley immediately made an impact the top division, finishing third in 1947-48 as the club began to assemble a team capable of regularly aiming for honours. Decline and near oblivion Burnley became one of the most progressive clubs around in the 1950s to the early 1970s under the reign of lifelong Burnley supporter and newly appointed chairman Bob Lord. They were one of the first teams to build a training ground while most teams trained on public parks or at their own grounds. The club became, after foundations were laid by Lord and manager Alan Brown, renowned for their youth policy and scouting system, which yielded many young players over the years such as club legend Jimmy McElroy, Willie Morgan and Martin Dobson. The Clarets were the first to let a manager decide about the transfer policy as well. Recovery 
In his relatively short spell at the club, Brown also introduced short corners and a huge array of free-kick routines, which were soon copied across the land. In the 1956-57 season, Ian Lawson, another product of the Burnley Youth Academy, scored a record four goals on his debut as a 17-year-old versus Chesterfield in the FA Cup. That same season saw a club record 9-0 victory over New Brighton in the FA Cup despite missing a penalty and the following season former player Harry Potts became manager. The team revolved around the midfield duo of Jimmy Adamson and Jimmy McElroy and these two were key to the championship winning team of 1959-60 managed by Potts. After a tense season in which Tottenham Hotspur and Wolverhampton Wanderers were the other protagonists in the chase for the league title, Burnley clinched the championship on the last day of the season at Main Road, Manchester with a 2-1 victory against Manchester City with goals from Brian Pilkington and Trevor Meredith. Although they had been in contention all season, Burnley had never led the table until this last match was played out. The Lancastrians' title-winning squad costed just £13,000 in transfer fees £8,000 on McElroy in 1950 and £5,000 on left-back Alex Elder in 1959. The other players of the squad each came from the Burnley Youth Academy. After the season finished, Burnley went to the United States to participate in the inaugural international football tournament in North America, the International Soccer League. The following season Burnley played in European competition for the first time, beating former European Cup finalists Reims, before losing to Hamburger SV in the quarter-finals losing in an FA Cup semi-final to Tottenham and finishing fourth in the league. Burnley finished the 1961-62 season as runners-up to newly promoted Ipswich Town and had a run to the FA Cup final, where Jimmy Robson goal, the 100th FA Cup final goal at Wembley, was their only reply to three goals from Spurs. Jimmy Adamson was named Footballer of the Year in English football after the season ended. Championship Years Burnley had several players with international caps in these years including, for England Ray Pointer, Colin MacDonald and John Connolly, a member of the 1966 World Cup squad, for Northern Ireland Jimmy McElroy and for Scotland Adam Blacklaw. Although far from a two-man team, the departure of McElroy to Stoke City and retirement of Adamson coincided with a decline in fortunes. Adamson reputedly turned down the England manager's post which then went to Alf Ramsey. More damaging was the impact of the 1961 abolition of the maximum wage, nonetheless they managed to retain their first division place throughout the decade finishing third in 1965-66, with Willie Irvine becoming the league's top goal scorer that season and reaching the semi-final of the League Cup in 1968-69. They also reached the quarter-finals of the 1966-67 Fairs Cup, in which they were knocked out by Eintracht Frankfurt. The remainder of the decade was otherwise one of mid-table mediocrity, with Potts being replaced by Adamson as manager in 1970. Adamson was unable to halt the slide and relegation followed in 1970-71 ending a long unbroken top flight spell during which, more often than not, they had been in the upper reaches of the league table. Burnley won the second division title in 1972-73 with Adamson still in charge. As a result, they were invited to play in the 1973 FA Charity Shield where they emerged as winners against Manchester City. In the first division, led by elegant playmaker Martin Dobson, the side managed sixth in 1974 as well as reaching another FA Cup semi-final, 
this time losing out to Newcastle United. The following season the club achieved 10th place but were victims of one of the great FA Cup shocks of all time when Wimbledon, then in the Southern League, beat Burnley 1-0 at Turf Moor. Relegation from the first division in 1975-76 saw the end of Adamson's tenure as manager. Three nondescript seasons in the second division followed before relegation to the third division for the first time in 1979-80. Of 42 league games, Burnley could not manage a win in either their first or last 16. Two seasons later, now under the management of Brian Miller, they were promoted as champions. However, this return was short-lived, lasting only one year, albeit a year in which the team reached the quarter-finals of the FA Cup and the semi-final of the League Cup, recording victories over Spurs and Liverpool in the latter although the 1-0 win over Liverpool in the League Cup semi-final second leg was not enough for an appearance in the final as Burnley had lost the first leg 3-0. Premier League Promotions and Relegations Managerial changes continued to be made in an unsuccessful search for success, Miller was replaced by Frank Casper in early 1983 he by John Bond before the 1983-84 season and Bond himself by John Benson a season later. Players Benson was in charge when Burnley were relegated to the fourth level of English football for the first time ever at the end of the 1984-85 season. Martin Buchan and then Tommy Kavanagh saw the side through the 1985-86 season before Miller returned for the 1986-87 season, the last match of which is known as the Orient Game. For the 1986-87 season, the Football League had decided to introduce automatic relegation and promotion between the 4th Division and the Conference League, the top tier of non-league football. Although, in retrospect, this has only served to blur the lines between professional and semi-professional leagues in England, at the time it was perceived that teams losing league status might never recover from this. Additionally, Burnley had a new local rival in Colm Dynamos who were rapidly progressing through the English non-league system at the same time as the former champions of England were in the lowest level of the league. After a disastrous season, Burnley went into the last match needing a win against Leighton Orient. A 2-1 win, with goals from Neil Grucock and Ian Britton, was enough to keep Burnley in Division 4, although even that achievement still relied on a loss by Lincoln City in their last game of the season. Paul Gascoigne, Tommy Lawton, Ian Wright, Mike Summerby Jimmy McElroy. In May 1988, Burnley were back at Wembley, this time to play Wolves in the final of the Football League trophy. A capacity crowd of 80,000 people packed Wembley was a record for a match between two teams from English football's fourth tier, as Wolves won 2-0. In 1991 92, Burnley were champions in the last ever season of the fourth division before the league reorganisation, and two years later they won the new Division II playoffs and gained promotion to Division I under Jimmy Mullen. That too was as a result of a match at Wembley, this time against Stockport County. Relegation followed after one season and in 1997-98 only a last day 2-1 victory over Plymouth Argyle ensured a narrow escape from relegation into Division 3. Chris Waddle was manager in that season, but his departure and the appointment of Stan Turnant that summer saw the club start to make further progress. In 1999-2000 they finished Division II runners-up and gained promotion to Division I. During the 2001 and 2001 2 seasons, Burnley emerged as serious contenders for a promotion playoff place in the championship. 
By 2002-03 the side's form had declined despite a good FA Cup run. This was repeated the following season and in June 2004 Turnant's six years as manager came to an end. Steve Cotterill was then appointed as manager of the club. Cotterill's first year in charge produced two notable cup runs, knocking out Premier League clubs Liverpool and Aston Villa, and a 13th place finish in the championship. He was not able to improve on this the following season, and Burnley finished 17th. Paul Gascoigne, Tommy Lawton, Jimmy McElroy Burnley made a good start to the 2006-07 campaign, but their form tailed away badly shortly before Christmas, leaving them threatened by relegation. The 2006-07 squad set a club record for consecutive league games without a win, with their game against Luton Town being the 18th one of the season meaning they had gone one fixture further than the 17-league game streak of the 1889-1890 season. The sequence of draws and losses was finally broken in April, as Burnley beat Plymouth Argyle 4-0 at Turf Moor. After that, a short run of good form in the final weeks of the competition saw Burnley finish comfortably above the relegation places, ensuring that they remained in the championship for the 2007-08 season. First Team Squad Other players under contract Out on loan Notable former players The following season Burnley's poor early season results led to the departure of manager Steve Cotterill in November 2007. His replacement was Owen Coyle. Coyle subsequently led the team to a total of 62 points for the 2007-08 season, their largest total for eight years. Coyle's first full season in charge ended with the Claret's highest league finish since 1976, fifth in the championship. That was enough to qualify the club for the championship playoffs. Burnley beat Reading 3-0 on aggregate in the semi-final, and the team went on to beat Sheffield United 1-0 in the final at Wembley Stadium, promoting Burnley to the Premier League, a return to the top flight after 33 years. Wade Elliott scored the vital goal in a match known as the £50 million final, due to the increased revenues available to premiership clubs after the agreement of substantially higher TV rights payments. 1974-75, Leighton James, 1981-82, Martin Dobson, 1983-84, Brian Flynn, Billy Hamilton, 1985-86, Kevin Hurd, 1990-91, Steve Davis, 1991-92, Steve Davis, 1992-93, Marlon Beresford, 1993-94, Marlon Beresford, 1995-96, Kurt Nogan, 1996-97, Gary Parkinson, David Ayres, 1998-99, Steve Davis, 1999-2000, Steve Davis, Glenn Little, 2011-12, Jay Rodriguez, 2012-13, Kieran Trippier, 2013-14, Kieran Trippier, Jason Shackle, Danny Ings, 2015-16, Tom Heaton, Michael Keane, Joey Barton, Andre Gray. Burnley's promotion made the town the smallest to host a Premier League club. They started the season by becoming the first newly promoted team in the Premier League to win their first four home league games, including a 1-0 win over defending champions Manchester United. However, manager Coyle left Burnley in January 2010, to manage local rivals Bolton Wanderers. 
he was replaced by Brian Laws as manager with Russ Wilcox as his assistant, but the club's form plummeted under the new management team, and they were relegated after a single season in the Premier League. Laws was dismissed in December 2010 and replaced by Eddie Howe, with Jason Tyndall as his assistant. Howe guided Burnley to an eighth-place finish in the championship in his first season at the club, narrowly missing out on a playoff place. However, he left the club in October 2012 to rejoin his hometown club Bournemouth along with assistant manager Tyndall. How citing personal reasons for the move. He was replaced in the same month by Watford manager Sean Dyche. In 2013-14, Dyche's first full season in charge, Burnley finished second in the championship and were automatically promoted back to the Premier League. Once again, their stay in the division only lasted a single season as they finished 19th out of 20 clubs and were relegated. Burnley went one better than their previous time in the championship and won the division in 2015-16, ending the season with a run of 23 league games undefeated. Manager Sean Dyche used just 25 players during the season and new signing Andre Gray finished as the league's top goal scorer with 25 goals. With a combination of excellent home form with poor away results, Burnley finished the 2016-17 season 16th, six points above the relegation zone, and ensured that would they would play consecutive seasons in English football's top flight for the first time since 1975-76. Winners, 1920-21, 1959-60, runners-up, 1919-20, 1961-62. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. English Football Hall of Fame Members a number of former Burnley players have been inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame. The Football League 100 Legends is a list of 100 legendary football players produced by the Football League in 1998 to celebrate the 100th season of league football. Three former Burnley players made the list. The following players have been included in the PFA Team of the Year whilst playing at the club. Football League 100 Legends PFA Team of the Year Burnley FC Player of the Year Award As voted by the club's supporters at the end of every season. Source in the early years, various designs and colors were used by Burnley. Throughout their first eight years these were various permutations of blue and white. After three years of claret and amber stripes with black shorts, for much of the 1890s a combination of black with amber stripes was used, although the club wore a shirt with pink and white stripes during the 1894-95 season. Between 1897 and 1900, the club used a plain red shirt and from 1900 until 1910, the club changed to an all-green shirt with white shorts. In 1910, the club changed their colors to claret and sky blue, the colors that they have now had for the majority of their history, save for a spell in white shirts and black shorts during the 1930s. On March 4, 2007, Burnley's away kit for the 2006-07 season won the Best Kit Design Award at the Football League Awards at the Grosvenor House Hotel in London.
In June 2007 the new home kit for the 2007-08 season was released, echoing the 1950s shirt, all claret with a blue v-neck and rims on the end of the arms which sport the word Burnley. It featured gold trim and a new gold logo for the club's 125th anniversary. For the championship match against Stoke City on November 24, 2007, Burnley wore a commemorative 125th anniversary shirt based on their first kit, blue and white stripes with black trim slash shorts and white socks. Non-playing staff The club wore for the 2009-10 season a kit similar to the kit worn when Burnley won the old first division title in 1959-60, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of that achievement. The club also adopted a new badge, closely based on the previous crest which was first used by the champions during the 1960 summer tour to North America. The club's mascot is Bertie B. He wears the 1882 shirt and is popular with the Burnley fans. He became well known for rugby tackling a streaker on the pitch who had evaded the stewards and appeared on the BBC television sporting panel show They Think It's All Over after the event. In the 2006-07 season, he was also joined by Holland's Pie Stan the Pie Man, due to a sponsorship deal. In October 2013 he again hit the headlines, this time after a top-of-the-table clash against QPR when he was sent off and jailed after he jokingly offered the assistant referee his glasses. Burnley have played their home games at Turf Moor since 1883. The stadium is located on Harry Potts Way, in honour of the 1958-1970 team manager. It now consists of four stands, the James Hargreaves Stand, the Jimmy McElroy Stand, the Bob Lord stand and the Ladbrokes stand for home and away fans. The current capacity is 21,944 all seated. Post-World War I crowds in the stadium averaged in the 30,000-40,000 range with the record attendance set in 1924 against Huddersfield Town in a FA Cup match when 54,755 attended the match. In 2008, plans were made to extend the stadium to a capacity of around 28,000. This capacity increase would include a second tier attached to the Bob Lord stand, along with a complete redevelopment. In addition, a new stand was planned to replace the cricket field stand, which would also hold a cricket pavilion and hotel. In late 2008, these plans were put on hold as general economic conditions worsened in the UK. In November 2009, Chairman Barry Kilby stated that at the end of the season, the club would look back into the proposed redevelopment of the cricket field stand. On promotion to the Premier League in 2009, it was estimated that approximately £1 million of work would be required to bring the ground up to Premier League standards. At the end of 2017, Burnley finalised plans to develop two corners of the stadium to provide better facilities for disabled supporters to meet the accessible stadium guide regulations. The plans took the spending on infrastructure at the club to around £20 million in two years, including a bigger club shop and ticket office at the stadium, and a major uplift to their training centre. At the same time, however, the club concluded that there will be no other ground developments to increase the overall capacity of Turf Moor in the short term, unless an increase in demand for seats forces a rethink. Burnley are one of the best supported clubs in English football per head of population, with average attendances of 20,000 in a town with approximately 73,000 inhabitants. 
In the championship winning year of 1959-60 the fan ratio of Burnley was twice the top flight average. Current coaching staff Kit and Colours Burnley were listed 7th out of a list of 92 respective football league clubs with the most rivals, with Blackburn Rovers considering Burnley to be their main rival and Bolton Wanderers, Morecambe and Rochdale considering them their second main rival. Burnley consider their biggest rivalry to be with Blackburn. Games between them are known as the East Lancashire Derby. Other rivalries exist with Bolton Wanderers, Blackpool and Preston North End. Burnley contested heated matches with Halifax Town, Plymouth Argyle and Stockport County in the past, when they were playing in the lower leagues. Kit Manufacturers and Shirt Sponsors When falling down to the lower leagues and the simultaneously growing presence of hooliganism in English football in the 1980s, a hooligan firm linked to Burnley was established, called the Suicide Squad. The firm became infamous for violently clashing with many other firms and fans in the country. They also featured in the television documentary series The Real Football Factories presented by Danny Dyer. The squad officially disbanded in 2009 after a high-profile incident with supporters of Blackburn Rovers, in which afterwards 12 members of the Suicide Squad were sentenced to jail for a total of 32 years. Club Mascot Stadium Supporters and Rivalries Managerial History Honours and Achievements League Cup Regional Europe Regional 2 Youth Records Club Records Player Records Correct as of February 4, 2018 Including Caretaker Managers All competitive matches are counted FA Cup Winners, 1913-14 Football League First Division Runners-Up, 1919-20 Football League First Division Champions, 1920-21 FA Charity Shield Runners-Up, 1921 Football League Second Division Runners-Up, 1946-47 FA Charity Shield Winners, 1960 Football League First Division Runners-Up, 1961-62 FA Cup Runners-Up, 1961-62 FA Charity Shield Winners, 1973 Football League Second Division Playoff Winners, 1993-94 Football League Championship Champions 2015-16 First Division Slash Premier League Second Division Slash First Division Slash Championship Third Division Slash Second Division Slash League One Fourth Division Slash Third Division Slash League Two FA Cup League Cup Slash EFL Cup FA Charity Shield Football League Trophy slash EFL Trophy Lancashire Senior Cup European Cup slash UEFA Champions League Intercities Fairs Cup slash UEFA Cup slash UEFA Europa League Anglo-Scottish Cup Texaco Cup The Central League FA Youth Cup As of the 2017-18 season Overall League History Winners, 1897-98, 1972-73, 2015-16, 2016-17
promoted, 1912-13, 1946-47, 2013-14, playoff winners, 2008-09. Winners, 1981-82, promoted, 1999-2000, playoff winners, 1993-94. Winners, 1991-92 Winners, 1913-14, Runners-up, 1946-47, 1961-62, Third, 1973-74 Semi-finalists, 1960-61, 1968-69, 1970-71, 1982-83, 2000, and 809. Winners, 1960, 1973, runners-up, 1921. Runners-up, 1987-88. Winners, 1889-90, 1914-15, 1916-17. Nineteen fifty one fifty two, nineteen fifty nine sixty, nineteen sixty sixty one, nineteen sixty one sixty two, nineteen sixty four sixty five, nineteen sixty five sixty six, nineteen sixty nine seventy, nineteen seventy one seventy two, nineteen ninety two ninety three. Quarter finalists. 1960-61 Quarter finalists, 1966-67 Winners, 1978-79 Runners-up, 1973-74 Winners, 1948-49, 1961-62, 1962-63 Winners, 1967-68